Well, I guess after one break yesterday in the uh, summer of hell 2024, we are back into summer. Hey, God, here on Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. Although they promised this will be the last day of summer for uh, quite a while, and we will be back to the 70s tomorrow for as far as they can see highs in the 70s lows in the 50s which is why I am a sober living in New York so anyway guys so how many years have I been on one level or another have I been a vacation rental host I guess actually going all the way back to uh, Florida when was that? In 2021. So uh, I am now uh, well into, uh, I guess, my fourth year of being a vacation host. And I have had some clueless morons come in to, uh, to Bugs in a Jar Farm. I, I admit, you know, everybody uh, has a little slice of clueless fucking moron in them somewhere and bugs in a jar is a little bit of a weird place for a, a lot of people who aren't used to somewhat roughing it out in the woods so anyway this very nice woman this single woman we'll call her Lulu uh, she is uh, heading from uh, New York City to uh, somewhere. So this was her halfway stop. So she pulls in here yesterday afternoon. <clears throat> Very nice, obviously intelligent. I'm going to take a wild guess. A college educated woman traveling by herself. <clears throat> Probably early 30s. I mean, I will say Lulu, early 30s, an obviously intelligent woman by herself. She rents Seahorse, which is the most isolated private uh, tiny house of them all. You know, you know, you can run around naked at Seahorse all day. You can fuck on the picnic table. Uh, nobody's going to see you. Nobody's going to bother you. So uh, she checks in, and I and I give her the tour of the place. So we get to the outhouse tour. We get to the outhouse tour. So what is in the outhouse is there is an orange bucket for women to pee in an orange bucket for women to pee in there is a blue bucket that says do it right a blue bucket that says do it right where you shit in the blue bucket you if you're a woman you piss in the orange bucket and you shit in the blue bucket and then in the corner of the outhouse there's actually a urinal uh, I, I actually because I have an outhouse I, I by the vacation rental rules if you have an outhouse you have to provide a urinal so I'm on 14 acres of trees 14 acres of trees uh, it, it, you know, out in the in the middle of nowhere, total 100% privacy. But I put this goddamn urinal uh, in the in, in the outhouse. Uh, I guess it was last May. Uh, you know, when we opened up Seahorse, but because I had to, and uh, so every time. Uh, that, I, that I give the outhouse tour if there's a guy there uh, I point to the urinal 
and and say dude i had to put this thing in here but i i don't think uh anybody has ever used this urinal uh in history when we have 14 acres of trees and they usually laugh and as far as i know that thing has been sitting there for over a year <clears throat> not one man has ever pissed in that urinal so lulu comes up so i give her that house to her I, I'm, I'm talking to a single female okay uh a single female we get to the fucking outhouse i i explain this is the bucket you pee in and this is the bucket you poop in and uh since there since there is one woman standing in front of me in the outhouse i did not mention the urinal there there was no point in bringing up the urinal uh to this woman and she says she understands the the process of the outhouse the bugs in a jar outhouse that she fully understands she pees in the orange bucket she poops in the blue bucket and she's gonna do it right and uh, I say fine so everything's fine <clears throat> so Lulu settles in in her totally private uh, seahorse tiny house in the middle of the 14 acres of woods <clears throat> everything is fine everything is fine then then she comes to check out this morning and she has kind of this weird look on her face and, and she goes sam she goes i have an embarrassing admission to make and i said what uh I, I i don't know i figured that she had broken something uh up there you know it happens and i was hoping oh my god what the fuck I, I figured it had something to do with the generator that she had fucked up uh, or the I, I didn't know the water who knows what the hell the, the, this nice intelligent single woman had fucked up in, in seahorse and I said what's going on and she says do you know what a shiwi is I'm thinking a shiwi and a, and then and maybe it's some sort of little dog and, and, and I said Lulu I have no clue what a shiwi is and she says a shiwi is it's like a little rubber cup with a funnel in it so women can pee like a man that's what she, I've actually uh, seen these that the, i've actually seen the shiwi in action and i the the one the one time i uh, i watched a woman demonstrate the shiwi to me i remember her pissing all over her pussy uh <clears throat> it was quite entertaining watching my friend uh, use her shiwi for the first time and, and pissing all over her pussy but that's uh, that, that, that's another story for another time. So she explains to me what a shiwi is, and she goes, "I use a shiwi when uh, I, I, I'm camping, and uh, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking, yeah." You use a shiwi, and so what? You, you, you went out in the woods, and you, 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 I'm thinking to myself, well, what's she talking about? She, she went uh, out in the woods and used her shiwi. Uh, what did she do? Did she piss all over her pussy? Or what the hell is she embarrassed about? And, 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 I, and I just uh, kind of laughed, and, and, and I said, uh, you, you, you know, what do you say? She goes, I said, well, what's the problem here, Lulu? And, and she says, well, I used my shiwi in the outhouse urinal. And it overflowed. And now 
your urinal is sitting up there, stopped up, full of my pee, is what she says. And I'm sitting there looking at this clueless fucking moron. You know, how many levels of fucking clueless am I dealing with, with one human being? And, and, and I said, so you're telling me that you use the urinal in the, uh, in the outhouse? And, and, and she goes, well, isn't that where men pee? And, and I said, Lulu, I, I, I said, as far as I know, not one single uh, man has ever used that urinal uh, in their entire lives that when men are out camping in the woods, uh, uh, men pee on trees. Uh, as, as far as I know, uh, every single man who has ever spent the night uh, in, in that outhouse has just pissed outside. Uh, I, I said that, that that's just what men do and uh, she goes oh so I guess she had never been taught uh, how, how men piss outside and uh, good God and uh, so I guess it was like 36 hours earlier uh, this one was like you know I, I totally I, I said don't worry about it I, I said it'll make a good story someday. I, I, I said I honestly never thought that the first person to stop up the urinal uh, in, in the seahorse outhouse was going to be a woman. I, I, I said, you, you, you know, uh, I never know what I'm dealing with uh, as a vacation rental host. Uh, I, I said, but it'll make a good story someday. And she goes, well, I'm really embarrassed. Well, I said, don't worry about it, darling. I will take care of it. So I'm guessing, what is it? It says Tuesday when, uh, I don't know uh, how long that piss had been there. Do the math. I mean, and, and, and this girl, it, it, it hadn't been in there. for her. So I, I go up there about 11 o'clock this morning to deal with this shit, well, to deal with this piss, and, and I, I mean, I open the door of the fucking outhouse, and this swarm of flies, I'm talking 500 fucking flies, uh, buzzing around the outhouse, and the fucking stench uh, 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 of this, uh, this goddamn uh, nasty piss. It is absolutely disgusting. You know, I've anybody with outhouses will tell you it's not the shit uh, that makes an outhouse stink. It's the fucking piss. Good fucking god, sitting there dealing with this stinking fucking piss. Uh, what I will fucking do? So that, that's my job. Uh, cleaning out urinals clogged up by women using shiwis because they don't know how a fucking man pisses in, in, in the woods. Anyway, I have got to go to the gas sucking chainsaw shop to get all my various tankfuls of gas, but uh. I'm going to head in here and get me some lunch. I'm going to go to the little, little Catatonk Diner. See uh, what kind of clueless morons I can find in here. Anyway, okay ladies, get out there and use your shiwi while you still can. Uh, just don't use it in a damn urinal. Uh, and Lord, look at the fucking crowd at the Catatonk Diner. Oh, man. My guys.